I've heard before that it takes three installments in a series to know if you're interested in it, and I'm here to test that out. Hey everyone, Skull902 here, and this is Rule of Three. Next up for batch number three is Mighty Ducks the Animated Series. Big thanks to Trip for the suggestion. This show, the last to be produced for the syndicated Disney Afternoon block, ran for one season between September 1996 and January 1997. Capitalizing on the popularity of the Mighty Ducks movies, as well as the defictionalized Mighty Ducks of Anaheim NHL team, this series takes the franchise in a completely different direction with elements of sci-fi and action-adventure. I've seen this show before but was a very small child, so my memory of it is vague at best. Disney was a house of fire in the 1990s. Is this a classic like many of their other shows and movies of the time, or is it best left forgotten? Well, only one way to find out. Let's start with the audio. The soundtrack is pretty good and mainly filled with orchestral pieces as was standard for Disney shows of the time. The theme song, while not the best in the world or anything, is a catchy tune so it does its job. They brought in a large amount of seasoned actors for the show who all put in good performances, with special mention going to Tim Curry, Tony Jay, and Jim Belushi. I'm not terribly into the designs of the main heroes and villains, but the animation holds up well, as per usual with Disney's television productions back then. That being said, whenever they incorporate CG, it's pretty egregious. I get that it had kind of a wow factor back then, but I don't think it's anything they couldn't have done in 2D. As far as the writing goes, it's fine. Pretty standard stuff as far as storytelling goes, with the only things I thought were kind of weird was how similar the Ducks' homeworld and Earth is, as well as how they were able to make all these renovations to the arena without any government officials' know-how. The dialogue was fine, and I got a few chuckles out of the show's humor. Though I will say I think they went a little overboard with Phil basically admitting that this show was an attempted cash-in. The characters have their roles and get the job done in that respect. They all feel differentiated, which is a good thing. I think that might be the least I've had to say about any of the works I've reviewed in this series, and it comes down to how standard it feels in my opinion. This is definitely par for the course when it comes to 90s animation. It leaves me with a feeling of indifference. With that in mind, I'm not exactly clamoring for more. Mighty Ducks isn't bad by any means, it's just pretty average and didn't quite do enough to keep me engaged. And that's where I'm going to end this episode of Rule of Three. I have been Skull902, thank you for watching and have yourselves a wonderful day.